welcome to another session of learning with Israr at Israr's channel. Today we are going to discuss about category management in supply chain management. In this presentation we will cover the definition of category management, its components and the benefits it has. So let's uh, start with defining category management first. It is a strategic approach to supply chain management where organizations group together similar products and services to identify opportunities for consolidation and to create added value for businesses and their customers. Then systematically in a holistic way managing these categories for whole life cycles of goods and services uh, starting or directing from sourcing to retailing. The major focus of uh, category management is optimizing the performance of specific uh, product category by analyzing data, understanding consumer behavior and collaborating with suppliers to achieve business objectives efficiently and effectively. And a robust category management approach plays a vital role in driving profitability and ensuring long-term success for businesses across various industries in today's cutthroat competition. After defining the category management, now let's see what are its key components. So the first one is defining the categories, then defining the role of each category, developing strategic uh, sourcing plan for each category, leveraging data analytics tools and techniques, uh, then setting objectives and target for each category, developing key performance indica indicators for uh, each category, implementing these uh, category management approach, and then uh, reviewing and optimizing all the strategies uh, to make it better or more effective. Setting objectives and targets for each category. Uh, this stage involves establishing clear, measurable goals for each category that uh, aligned with the company's broader objectives. Setting these targets involve defining what success looks like for each category and mapping out a, path, a pathway to achieve it. By setting specific objectives, businesses provide a a clear direction for category management initiatives and a benchmark against which to measure the progress. After setting the objectives uh, and targets for each category, uh, we have to measure the performance of each uh, category. So uh, developing uh, key performance indicators is the next stage uh, in category management approach. Measuring and optimizing category performance is essential for driving continuous improvement and achieving a business objective. So, in this stage of category management process, development of key performance indicators for each category is done. Since uh, it is a very crucial for assessing the efficacy of each category in contributing to overall business strategy. This involves rigorous monitoring of uh, key performance indicators for the category management process such as sales volume, profit margin and customer satisfaction. Implementing uh, category management effective implementation is crucial for the successful category management process. This stage involves uh, putting the planned uh, strategies and tactics into action across the organization. After implementing the category management uh, uh, process, uh, we have to review it for and optimize our strategies. So regular review and optimization of category strategies are essential to adapt to market changes and consumer behaviors. In this final stage uh, involves uh, continuously analyzing, analyzing the performance learning from the data and making necessary adjustments. After explaining the uh, category management process and its main components, now let's see 
the importance or the benefits of category management. So it provides economy of scales, improves relationship with the suppliers, enhances uh, customer's experience, improves uh, decision making, uh, efficient negotiation, improves uh, spend visibility, uh, also mitigate the risk management, and then uh, lastly uh, improves the business strategy execution. So now let's discuss these benefits one by one. Category management provides economy of scales uh, by aggregating and spend and uh, having fewer suppliers for a product or service which helps to get better pricing, improve quality management and more uh, beneficial terms. Category management helps to improve relationship with suppliers. Being able to recruit, evaluate and onboard new suppliers will be much quicker with category management since it since it's, it enables to identify the underperforming suppliers and replace or expand the role. Category management also identifies the key products and services that are vital to the organization so there would be more collaboration with the key supplier of those products and services. Category management also enhances the customer's experience. Uh, the category managers becomes the expert in a particular category and so becomes a go-to person for a given product or uh, managed service. So a focus approach enables continuous learning and improvement with in own area of expertise. This results in a better product to customer fit which enhances the customer's experience. Category management allows to segment the spending into areas which contain similar or related product and services. This allows uh, us to focus the time on those categories uh, which are aligned uh, which are aligned with the organization's goal and that will bring the most value to the product and services. So category management improves uh, the decision making related to different categories of the product and services. The next benefit of category management is to support the efficient negotiation. Uh, category management allows to engage in a negotiation by using the uh, accurate data and by being able to prioritize certain categories it allows to focus on getting the lowest prices possible at the highest quality from the supplier. Another very important benefit of uh, category management is that it improves the spend uh, visibility. By aggregating and validating the spend by category provides insights into where the money is spent and with which supplier. Category management identifies improvement opportunities in maverick and tail end spendings. As we know, risk management is another very important function of supply chain management and category management is being able to manage risk more effectively. It will make able uh, to get an in-depth look at each suppliers and uh, supplier and, and risk associated with them, such an environment, staff and capacity. Category management also helps uh, to improve business strategy execution. So because it translates business strategy into specific category targets and deliverables. After defining category management, its main components and the benefit it has to a business, uh, we come to know that today's dynamic world of business where everything is constantly evolving and changing by adopting a structured category management process and uh, by doing the best practices organizations can position themselves by long term success for long term successes and sustainability in today's complex business landscape in conclusion category management empowers businesses to make informed decisions optimize resources and stay agile in the face of evolving market demands 
this was our presentation about uh, category management i hope after uh, listening this uh, presentation you have a very fair idea about category management what are the main components of uh, a category management and what kind of benefit it can uh, provides uh, it can provide to the uh, business so till the next presentation take care and goodbye